What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Lil Clay Clay. So, welcome to another autism review. Today, we're going to be reviewing the Shark Vacmop. I purchased this when I first moved, officially moved in, moved here um, after my parents moved to their home in Jamestown. Um, and I purchased this because I wanted something, something that I could use if I had company coming and I needed to both vacuum and mop the floor or if I need to just vacuum and mop in general and this is pretty helpful. This is, what, this is way better than a Swiffer Wet Jet and a and a Swiffer Super Vac. This is like them, those two machines combined. Um, I'm gonna demonstrate a special feature real quick that it has. Um, this is what I just found out. So the charger here that will by snaps on here just like a snaps on here just like a button. It's a mag because it's magnetic. Um, if it is charging, let's say you and mom or dad, and you have kids. You know, kids they get curious when they see a machine or something new. They want to play with it. Um, if they were to hit the button with the charger on, then the vacuum will not turn on. And as you can see, the light um, flashes continuously as well. Um, but um, anyway, that way the kid that will keep the kids from turning the machine on and draining the battery. Also, I know one thing I noticed when I was using it is instead of having that eerie wind down sound that it makes when the battery's dying, it will just flash a red light to let you know that the that the machine needs to be charged. Um, another cool thing is that instead of having the machines, the um, dirt stuck into a little dirt cup, as you can see, if I were to, if I pick it up, there is no. Obviously, there's where you put the stuff, the stuff in, but there is no dirt cup. So where does the dirt go? You might ask. It's actually built into the pad here, which you can kind of see, which I think is great. It's kind of funny because I remember using this the first day I got it, and I couldn't figure out where the dirt went, and then my roommate's um, girlfriend at the time, she's his wife now, not my current roommate, my old roommate, um, um, she, I was like, huh? I was kind of confused, but then when I looked at the pad, I saw that the dirt was already sucked on there. So that's pretty cool. Now, you have, to, obviously you can't, you run the vacuum part once you mop the floor, because I can clog the, clog the pad. You can use the same pad when you mop, but I prefer, I prefer to take it and throw it away and put a new pad on because of the dirt that's already been swept on there. If the dirt gets wet, it gets all mucky and sometimes will get off the pad or it makes the, also makes the floor all sticky. Um, these pads are pretty cheap. Um, you can get them from Target, Amazon, or Big Lots along with the cleaning supply. I'll go ahead and show that to you. Um, let me just go find it real quick. Um, where's that? Is that right there? Oh, no, that's the soap. Uh -oh. oh, here we go. Here's the supply right here. And this is for multi-service, so it's for hardwood, tile, and laminate. Um, and I know with laminate, you have to be real careful more than you would with hardwood because laminate can mess up real easily if you're not careful. So, um, anyway, to put it on, you can either put the pad on, you can either just snap on your fingers or just press down. Little tricky. Up here to click, and as you can see, it's a locked in place. Um, let me go ahead and um, I'm gonna demonstrate the vacuum part first. Um, I'm gonna do the whole house, but I'm just gonna do show demonstrate a vacuum in the kitchen. Um, and this thing sucks up a lot. Another thing is, if you guys can hear me, as you can see, it's pretty quiet. I mean, I might, you, might have, you don't have to shout, but it's not as loud as a regular vacuum cleaner. And I also forgot to mention that the lights on here also turn on when you're mopping as well.
stink bug. They got a lot of stink bugs in my house. Switch is located on the back of the handle. All right. So you can see it did pretty good. Um, I'm gonna carefully try to, without the dirt getting off. Oh shoot! You'll see it did pretty good. Hopefully y'all saw that. If not, I'm sorry. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the other finish the other part of the house. The lights turn off after a minute, um, but like I said, they work on when you're mopping as well, which is excellent. Like I also said, the on and off switch for the vacuum is located on the back of the switch handle here, and then the spray button is located here. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and finish vacuuming, and then I will demonstrate the. When I'm done, I will go ahead and demonstrate the mopping feature as well. So, we'll be right back. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. It's, uh, I just did an intro. But anyway, I guess welcome back after using the machine. I'm um, just going through around where I did it. Um, there's a few bits of dirt left, but that I can easily mop up. That won't do nothing. Um, I had to change the pad actually before before I vacuumed in the living room because the bottom of it got clogged up and that's kind of a small price to pay because the little dirt bin and the pads are very small but that shows how strong this machine is because it was some pretty big stuff most machines wouldn't um, pick up that kind of stuff here's where I did the floor as you can see it did pretty good oh, I missed a spot over there Oh well. Um. I'm trying to do some dirt on the floor that'll be cleaned up. Um. Excuse the mess. It's the one thing I struggle with is organization. I also did what my roommate's area is, but I'm not going to show that so I don't accidentally. Um. I don't accidentally film his stuff because he doesn't like his stuff to be on camera anyway I'm gonna go ahead and change the pad to change it um, you will hit this button right here and then that it will, pad will easily come off and so I'll demonstrate that real quick okay sorry I'm gonna have to stop recording because I can't do this without two hands and I don't want to lift the pad up so that way more dirt doesn't fall off on the ground we'll be right back Okay, so now I'm gonna start mopping. When I mop, I kinda go backwards so I don't walk on the water. Okay, pretty good. We're not doing in here, this is not.
So I'm gonna continue mopping because I know y'all probably don't want to just sit here and watch me mop the rest of the vlog. So I know because I don't want like a vacuum demo that can be kind of boring. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish, and I'll be back in a flash. All right, y'all. So sorry about that. Um, as you can tell, it looks kind of darker. It's because this is a bit later. I forgot to show you guys the what happened after I mopped. Um, as y'all can see, it did a pretty good job. Um, it didn't mop up that dirt that I forgot to vacuum up, but I thought, eh, who cares? Got a little bit of the sticky part here, though. Didn't get all of it, but it's been there for a while, so I'm not gonna hold that against it. Um. As you can see here is where I mopped. Pretty clean floor. Um, missed some spots, but again, nothing has to be perfect. Um, anyway, on a scale of 1 to 5, I give this a 5 star rating. It's a pretty good machine. If you want a machine that both vacuums and mops whenever you need to mop after you vacuum, or you want something that's uh, it's kind of a two-in-one for if you're having company over and you want to make the floors nice and clean. This is best. This is a really good thing to look at. I would highly recommend it. With that, I'm going to end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.